Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. Wait, excuse me. In this video, we're going to talk about the new monster... I don't know why I'm so burpy all of a sudden. But we're going to talk about the new Monsters at Work uh, episode, which is called the Vending Machine. So, in this episode, uh, Taylor... Uh, well, they have the Mifs has this vending machine, right? And it's old. So we... They, like, tell uh, Taylor that if he wants to drink from that vending machine, he has to knock three times, right? Wait a second. And then kind of hit it, not too hard, but kind of hard. And uh, he hit it too hard. And the vending machine broke. And so, the myths are kind of dramatic. Taylor's like, what the heck? We're having a funeral service for our freaking vending machine? And, uh... When that penny machine gets reeled out, they all sorry cry. The boss dude, he uh of the masters, he uh takes that hard. And this week there's a bunch of cuts. And um he has he has to make an uh, decision on who to fire of the myths. Uh I wouldn't have been surprised if it was Taylor. I wouldn't have been surprised if it was Duncan, because those two seems to be like the troublemakers. Even though Taylor doesn't mean to be a troublemaker, Duncan is, but seeing how Taylor's the new guy, I, yeah. So, uh, well, he, well, this is kind of what's happening. Mike thinks, okay, we need to boost morale, because more morale means... More uh, positive attention. More positive attention means more money. And more money means no budget cuts. So Mike decides to spend all this money on stuff. And uh, get a new vending machine from the MIPS. Pole tables. Artwork. And you can see Sully is uh, uh, uh Getting frustrated because he wants to save money besides spending money. And while this is going on, uh, the Miffs enjoy the new vending machine. And to Duncan and Taylor's, uh, breaks the new vending machine. And then it's this epic scene where Duncan, being egotistical, say, Yeah, we need to, I'm going to save it, be the Miffs hero. He gets eaten by the vending machine. And so, uh, Taylor goes out and he, uh, breaks that vending machine to get Duncan out. And, uh, it turns out that somehow Mike's plan on spending a lot of money is, uh, actually was a good thing. Because it boosted him around, it did everything that he was hoping to do. So they were get, be able to they were able to save monster like Monsters Inc. to having to do budget cuts. And so the myths are excited. And then we get to uh, uh see the old vending machine fixed by Taylor. And that's the end of the major the main plot of the uh show. Now, there's the la uh comedy class where Mike says what kids love is clowns. He has cloud makeup. So he says, Now it's your guy's turn. And Taylor and this other alien or monster does great. This one monster is like, And then Mike says, And why about a smile? So the monster does this. Pretty much. And, uh, Yeah, Mike gets scared. And then, I love, like I said in my last review, I do love stay, saying bye for the credits. Because they take the classic Monster Inc. Uh, theme. That theme song. And they like to change it a bit. Like that was one that was baseball themed, and I like that. This one was like... Was like a uh, uh, bagpipes 
version of it. And that was pretty cool. I like how they're, like, messing with the theme song a bit. Trying different versions of the theme song now. And I really do enjoy that. This show, like I said, is a pretty good show. I'm, I don't, I'm not mad at it. I am, am enjoying myself in it. I know you can say, okay, it's for Gear Charge kids. What's a 25 year old person doing watching a kid show? Hey, Monster Inc. Monsters Inc. was part of my childhood. I watched Monsters Inc. and Monster uh, University. Monsters Inc. is part of my childhood. I was skeptical about this show at first. But over the span of six episodes, this show is, this show has impressed me. This show respects the lore. It feels like Monster Inc., a continuation of Monster Inc., Billy Crystal and, Billy Crystal and John Goodman both reprise their roles as Sully and Mike. This is great. This show is great. If you enjoyed the comedy in Monsters Inc. and Monster Un University, you will enjoy the comedy in here. If you enjoyed both Monsters University and Monsters Inc., then you will enjoy this show. I'm telling you. I don't care how old you are, you will enjoy this show. So, that said, I really do think you guys will enjoy the show, especially if you're a fan of the Monster Inc. movies. Monster Inc. and Monster University. So, with that said, what do you guys think about this uh, show? Uh, episode. Do you guys like it, dislike it, or anything about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Catch you guys later. Love you all. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you guys in the next video or live stream.